Okay, it's nine o'clock. I think people will keep coming in, but let's get started. And good morning to Patrick as well. I saw that you came in there. Really cool. Um, today it's live demo. Uh, we're going to take you behind the scenes of our platform today. And um, it's not going to be me doing that. Uh, it's going to be my talented colleagues, Ulrika Skogland and Marcus Wilbein. And by the way, my name is Ulrika Peyron. I'm a marketing manager at Learnifier. Uh, but it will be Ulrika and Marcus that will walk you through and take you on a tour in Learning Fire. And today it is it happens to be Ulrika's uh, birthday. So I just want to say happy birthday, Ulrika. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> uh, we really, uh, yeah. It's nice that you want to so do it much. on your birthday. Uh, <laughs> you celebrate with a live demo. I really yes, like Yes, of course. How can I better celebrate my birthday? That is just great. Um, okay, so um, uh, today's agenda, we have until 9.45 today. Um, first, we're going to do a little short intro to Learnifier for those of you who are not familiar with who we are. And uh, then I'm going to hand over the word to Marcus, who's going to talk about building courses and creating learning experiences. And he will also show you how to use the video editor. Uh, Ulrika will talk about how to foster a culture of learning and how to create certified training programs. And then she will also talk about managing course participants and how to use automated communication. After that, we will have a little uh, Q&A. So please write your questions in the chat uh, during the session um, and we will um, address them at the end. And then we'll wrap up, wrap up at 9.45 and send you off with a good vibe hopefully all right so um learning fire who are we we're the leading learning platform in the nordics uh, we're based in sweden as i said we have our main office in um at torsgat on 13 in stockholm but we have clients or customers all over the world who use us for um or to create learning experiences uh, academies training programs and they do that to upskill reskill their employees and to onboard uh, and um, what you see here is a little teaser or the, the image is uh, what our new interface will look like when we're done designing it. So that is something to come. Uh, our mission is to make training easy, engaging and efficient. And that is what we're working hard to do every day together with our customers. And we believe that brings uh, business outcomes. We work with many of Sweden's biggest brands, and uh, here is um, a few of them that you see on this slide. Um, yes, I, um, I'm not going to talk more about Learnifier. I think we should jump in and uh, see Learnifier. So I'm going to hand over to you, Marcus, and um, please go ahead. Awesome. Thank you, Ulrika. Um, hope you all can hear me. I hope you all can see me. I'm in one of the meeting booths we got here at the Learnify Studio. And um, yeah, I'm going to present the uh, the Learnify platform for you all. And uh, since you can see my screen now, this is where the magic happens, so to say. Uh, what we do for customers that use Learnifier uh, is that we give them a branded experience. Since Learnifier is a SaaS platform, uh, everything is accessed through the uh, the web browser on your desktop, on your tablet, or even on your mobile phone. Um, so where we are right now. So you can see our logo, you can see our colors and everything. And what we will do for anybody that will be using Learnifier is to brand this full experience. So your logo will be visible here, background colors, background images as well to give you a uh, nice experience for your learners to come into. Uh, but it's also possible to integrate Learnify with other systems like an IntraWeb, for example, uh, where your employees might be logged in already. Um, instead of letting them log in from another site, then you can actually redirect them directly from the system that they are already logged into. Then you can bring your own login credentials if they have to change password every week, every day, every minute, whatever rules you have at your company, that can be set to be combined with Learnifier as well. 
Uh, right now, I'm going to show you the simplified way of logging into Learnify, and I will do so. And today, I brought a very big mouse clicker so you all can see where I am in the platform to follow. But, but I start with, uh, with logging in. The first view we got now, that is for all the participants of courses. So it could be your employees, it could be your customers, your partners, your resellers, solely dependently on what you are doing. So what kind of training you are, are handling, uh, all of those uh, people will be brought into the platform and they will only see what they are entitled to see. So if I'm an employee that just started, Maybe this should be an introduction for me to go, an, an onboarding or a pre-boarding, so to say, that I would take place in and uh, in taking that sort of training. Maybe like in this case, I've been working with the company for just a little while. So I got a couple of different courses here that we can see. I first off took the Learnify a style guide. That's completed. We can see that on the status. Uh, we got the handbook. So maybe we're a restaurant. That is not yet started because first of all, I had to do this one. As you can see, I have started the cybersecurity training that is in progress, but it also expires in, th in three days. So this is a quite important course for me to work at this company. I might need this training to be able to do all of the work that I have, and I have to do this in the next three days. So as you can see, for me as a learner, as we call everybody that takes courses, uh, I get to see all the statuses that we have. I get notified if something is about to expire, both visually here, but also in notifications like in text messages or in emails. So you can reach any of your crowd because let's face it, not everybody uh, at companies do have a working computer uh, that they do the work in. If you're in a restaurant, you're gonna be working with the customers or you're gonna be working with the food. So you're not gonna be at an office like a white color person would be. That's more of a blue color person that would be on the floor, so to say. Um, then everybody can take uh, take these notifications in their in their mobile device as well. You can reach everybody, and nobody can say I didn't see that. Uh, but in this case, I'm gonna start off with with talking a bit about these um, these courses. So this could be sent out to me. So let's see that uh, Rika, the previous speaker here, she's my manager. Uh, so she uh, she needs me to take these three courses. So she sent those out to me. It could also be like that, that this is a company that has a larger training organization that maybe you want to grow in your role, Marcus. So where you are right now, that's not maybe where you want to be in one year or, or six months uh, also. Uh, then you can add like a full journey circle for me uh, that could be brought up into a catalog. These are all free for me to take, available for me. This can be adapted for my role who I am at the company, what role I have, or where I am geographically as well. Uh, so for me to grow in, uh, in the role where I am, maybe I need to take all of these four courses. Then I'm entitled to have that talk with my manager and maybe take, take the next step in the, um, uh, in the company. But I'm gonna head back to the view. I'm gonna start looking at the handbook here. This could be for restaurants. It's, this could be for um any type of company basically whoever needs uh, uh to bring out some information to them uh so if i would start at a restaurant for example can have a brief introduction talk a bit about the work environment the rules the preferences that they are um and also we can have some uh descriptions i see here that i put this in swedish actually but that's just those uh, extra parts that's around the course uh of course everything in this could be in english in danish in uh do we have icelandic i think so i could also be in spanish german polish we got over 23 different languages to put in here um but since we are here, you can have a description for the course. You can see the co-participants. You can also hide it because maybe this is not what everybody anybody wants to see right now. Uh, but let's head into to see like the first pages. So who are we? Well, in the heart of a, uh, heart of a, a city, blah, blah, blah. So I just added some generic material in here so you can see what is able to be put into the uh, put into the course. And when I have read all through all of this, well, we're not crossy burger, that's for sure. Uh, 
you can mark this as done and you can head on to the next step. So this is sort of, sort of what the feel, look and feel can be for uh, in a course where you can see uh, any information that you put in here. Uh, it's going to be adapted to whatever device that they are on. If I will just make this screen smaller, it will appear you to see what it will look like if you're on a tablet or if you would be on a smartphone as well. So everything will be in a scroll flow here. So you can move on uh, with the right view for them. We're not going to pay that much in, uh, attention in this course. We're going to head out and actually build stuff because this is what it can look like when it's done, when it's ready. Um, but it's the journey uh, to come to this page that uh, we're going to be looking at right now. So I'm going to be heading off from this learner view. Since I'm an administrator in the system, of course, I need to take courses as well. I'm with the company. I got trainings that I need to do as well. But I'm also the uh, I'm also an administrator of the platform, and maybe the uh, the learning designer at the company. Maybe I'm an HR. Maybe I'm a C level manager as well. It could be any anybody basically. It depends on what structure your company has. But I'm gonna move on to the um, uh, the Learnify platform. Here we can see that I have actually two options. This could be for a company that's based in Sweden but also has an office in Denmark, for example. So would I like to en uh, enter the, the, the Danish version or the Swedish version? So I could either have access to both or one off, depending on who I am at the company, so we can hide data from that person because a Danish manager might not uh, have access to the Swedish data, but me as a system manager, I need to have access for both. But I'm going to head into the learner fire uh, part of this um, uh, of this platform. Uh, I got my favorite project, which is the handbook that's going to be used as an example. I could find it in projects as well. It's going to be in here, but we also got folders where we can start mapping everything out. So it, it gets easier to uh, to find anything and keep it a bit cleaner in here. But I'm going to head into the handbook example here and I would like to edit the course. We do have two participants. You can see that I was one of them. I had it in my, um, I had it in my, uh, in my dashboard in my view. Uh, we got two people in here. I know that I invited Ulrika Skoglan a couple of days ago, so she's also one of the participants in here. So we could actually add more people. Gonna be coming in a bit more to that part. But maybe this course has been around for a while. I need to change something. Something has happened. We need to update th something, or just feel like well. I just, I just want to add something more to this. So I'm going to head into the course and um, maybe I would like to add like an intro. We just start off with a big, big text here and then comes a, then comes a photograph, an image here. Maybe I want to have it in a bit different way. Maybe we would like to add a intro. What I did here was to push new activity, which opens up a new text bar. And then I just uh, name it. I'm going to name it one and I'm going to delete that one because I don't need that specific that specific one. Um, uh, my big ass mouse clicker is too big now. I'm just going to bring it up to the top because intro, that's the first thing that comes here. And it's going to be a completely wide view that we have here. It's got no text. It's got no image of the Krusty Burger logo. We got nothing in here as, uh, right now. So that what I want to do is to press the plus sign down here. And what that does is to open up this view where I can add any type of content that I want. It could be a video, audio, images. I could even build quizzes, surveys as well. So you can bring in data and information from your participants. You can put events in here if you're going to have a physical event. Uh, a digital event, and that could be like a Zoom meeting or that you're going you're gonna to bring the people to your office. But I'm just going to add a text in here. I'm going to copy an already written text. Boom, we got that in. And I also want to add a video. So I'm just going to drag a video in here as well. I could upload something that I've already created before. I could take something from YouTube. Just paste a link in here and we can stream a live video. But what I want to do is to create 
a video on my own. So I'm just going to name it one test. That's going to be the name of my video here. I'm going to open up the video editor. And this is where we stand out from, uh, from others in, uh, in our business. So we've got a built-in video editor. So anybody that uses Learnify can actually edit and build videos on their own directly in the platform. You can do that at any time. These videos can also be downloaded. So you could use them anywhere. If you want a video that you want to upload to YouTube, feel free to use the product we got in here. So what I want to do, I want to make that intro. And with that intro, what I want to do, I want to record my webcam because I want to be in the intro. I want to introduce the people to the course. Um, so I'm just going to allow that part. And I'm going to use uh, the things I got here. I'm going to start recording. That's going to take down on three, two, one. Hi, my name is Marcus. I'm the restaurant manager here at Krusty Burger. I'm super pleased to have you here. Uh, we're going to be talking about these uh, different uh, pointers to go through so you know what to expect about this course. Maybe that's all. I'm just going to stop the video. I'm going to save it. So the video appears directly in the video editor here. And uh, I mentioned a couple of pointers, like a checklist maybe. Uh, then I can start edit the video. What can I do? Well, I can head in and uh, put some um, put some information in there. That maybe I want to add a name. What's it going to say? Well, it's going to say that Marcus, manager. Maybe that's going to be my, my role here. So I can add any type of information. So this is just, who am I? I'm going to say that. And this can stay as long as we want. So maybe we want to stay for like four seconds. And after that, maybe I don't, maybe I didn't like this part. Well, look at that thumbnail. I don't want it. So I could just remove it. So any excessive part that you have in a video, feel free to cut it wherever you want. Because maybe I stop talking here and it's going to move over to like another slide, another video, another picture whatever you like. So you can basically add whatever content you want in here. So um, a PowerPoint slide, you take a screenshot, you add it in here and you can make them a bit more lively. So you start up with talking and um, after that, you put in uh, just another, just another, uh, just another picture here that you can move over. And maybe this screaming guy just wants to be in the bottom of the screen showing that full PowerPoint presentation for him as well. So you can adapt whatever you have recorded as well. Uh, maybe you want to add four pictures in here and make that a, a very big video. So this is just a couple of things that can be done. And if you're interested in seeing more about this tool and what you can do with Learnify, well, hey, give us a call and we can show you more of the uh, uh, more of what is done in this product. But basically, you can add a lot of different types of content. Sometimes you just need to add a text in there. Maybe you want to share a document. Maybe it is a video that you want to share, or just all combined. So you can really do anything, uh, anything in here to put that information that you need to reach your employees with. And I've taken my 15 minutes of fame now, so I'm actually going to be uh, moving over this conversation to Ulrika Skogland. Ulrika. It's your birthday, I'm here. but you I'm need to work as well. So the floor is yours. <laughs> I'm just stunned. Uh, well done, Marcus. And I just love to see how you create with the video editor. Uh, we, we do see that as a really powerful tool in the learning platform for, for uh, engaging the participants. So my name is Ulrika and uh, I work with onboarding at Learnifier. And with that, I mean that I will, I will welcome new clients to us and help them to get started. And that is both a, a job uh, full of like functionality. How do we manage the system? How do we do to, to um, uh, add a video, to, uh, to add text, to, to do some things that I will show you, but I, I would say more importantly, my role is to help and challenge our clients to foster a learning culture, to see to it that uh, we all have a tendency to learn out 
we have information we want to we want to share with the participants but so my role is in in uh, in many settings to also say that hi uh, let's see how will this be for the participant in the participant view how will they they learn best and i always like ask for permission to to do this with the clients and uh, i've actually never had a no but uh, i think it's important to to see that to to buy a new system a new platform it is in our interest that you as a client will will get benefit for the system soon and uh, that you will drive the beho behavioral change that you are aiming for uh, so and with that i will start to to look here at the the system together with you and i start at the my courses page like uh, marcus did so this means that i am a learner uh, as an administrator and i think many of you uh, watching this uh, will be administrators in the system that means that you will create material and also uh, make learning um, pathways uh, for for your learners and as Ulrika said earlier we want learning to be easy engaging and efficient so that's that's the the role that we want to to play in your life and with that said some trainings can be really uh, you want to inspire your uh, your crowd it could be like we have this new challenge and this is new from marketing in how we will launch this and um, and that's something that everyone will be happy about and and share and and take part of but we can also have the situation like many of our clients that both municipalities and also within the logistics area, area we have uh, we have many uh, train companies uh, that that have it is important that you have certified knowledge and and to be able to have a certification uh, then you many see the value in having a learning platform and for us, that means that uh, you will have a certificate and I will now show how easily done that is, how easy it is to do that. Uh, I used to say I'm never nervous to do any of this work, but my clock just made an alarm for me, almost like your pulse is really high. What's this? <laughs> so I think it could be that English is not my native language. Uh, but uh, I do hope that you so, uh, you will understand this anyway. And also, I want to remind you to ask questions. Ask questions in the chat. Uh, if you have questions that you want us to contact you afterwards, then write that. But we are really happy to answer your questions and to have this more as a dialogue at the end. But now I will enter the, the course, the handbook for restaurants. Uh, as Marcus said, we, we work in, in many different areas. And here I can start the course and go on, as you could see that Marcus did. And this is something that I encourage the administrators uh, to do, to always uh, engage in your own course, course so that you will, uh, you will then be also a participant. You can, of course, preview, but it's uh, when you then are forced to do your own training, then you get to see this is smooth, this is not. This is uh, too much information, this is not enough information. So uh, always be a learner as well, at least like the first six, six months to a year. But now I want to go to the administrator view and I will be in this project. So I will go to administer project. And this setting is, of course is different between learning platforms, but my job now is to show you how easy uh, Learnifier works with this. 
and uh, we have uh, some core uh, core parts in our system and one of them is the library we encourage our clients to save materials and to to uh, work with uh, different templates in the in the library and why is that yes because for you as an administrator it's really important that your job is easy easily done you will need to create first you start with a new new um, uh, platform and then you you will have to learn new things and then uh, it's it's really important that everything that can be digitalized and automated also will be automated so that you can put your heart in your content and to to see how you will engage in that and in library uh, i have then the the materials and for for this example i want now to make sure that this is a certified uh, training and we have also support for diploma in the in the system so you can have like so, like a diploma after you finished uh, uh, a course but a certification is the the difference is that you set a validation on that that when i have done this this training this um, handbook for restaurants then i need to do it again after one year uh, so that's what we're gonna manage now and we see them here in the awards. We have some different certifications and I have uh, started with uh, doing one for, for this one. So I'll show you here, I just made an easy copy and then I want to have a certification for handbook restaurants. And I want an expiration on this. And uh, I want this to be uh, every, every nine months. I, I want, uh, want uh, the participant to re-enroll. And I want them to get a notification 20 days before, before, before the certificate expires. And I want to notify both the learner, so me as, uh, as a, a participant, but I also want to notify the team manager. So the, the learner's uh, team manager. And I want to have an auto enrollment. That means that, uh, that uh, you, I will give the participants then the, the ping and the, the um, uh, notification to re-enroll. And I want then, this to be for the handbook so that's our and uh, then uh, it could be done 20 days since i set the reminder for 20 20 days so 20 days before and uh, i here you can also set notifications with uh, with this so then you can say it like uh, please re enroll and uh, 20 days before and send notifications from learner and I can choose if I want this to be in the learning platform or if I want this to be through mail and I choose mail for, for this one and uh, here I can see the summary and now I will save it so you can see here is the new certificate and I will go back to my project, uh, the handbook, and I will add this certificate to this training. So this is here and um, I will add, add that here. So now this is certified uh, training and uh, as I said, many of our, our companies within the, the transport business, like trains, buses, and so on, they have for our security, they have trainings that are certified. And this is a, a really, it's key for, for their work. So we work really close 
and also to make these trainings uh, also easy, engaging, efficient. I mean, just because you have to do it, 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 it doesn't have to be like boring. Uh, so you will do the best possible with the content for for the for the learners. Uh, so we want to have the learner view, as I said, in in the in focus. And um, when we see the participants, as Marcus showed, we can we have here uh, two participants. It's us, and if I want to to see them uh, both like the progress that we have, or I want to communicate with our participants. Uh, I go to, to the participants here, and here I can see that Ulrika, she's in progress. You can see she hasn't done a lot, and Marcus as well. But we've been busy demoing this for you, so I hope you understand. But if I want to engage with the participants now, then you can see that I can do this and I could uh, change expiration if uh, if I see that this course should have a longer or shorter uh, expiration. I could issue a ward or re-enroll if I have a lot of new content and, and so on. So uh, I will also then later show you about automated communication. So this is kind of a manual uh, way to engage with the participants, but we also want to have automated communication that the system will keep track on when we will communicate with our participants. And uh, we work with an open API uh, at Learnifier, and uh, we encourage the clients that has a salary system or an HR system to to then integrate with us with through the open API and the SSO. So you will have easy access to the system. And uh, uh, so, so that is a, a preferred way to work with participants because then as soon as a new participant uh, or an, a new employees get in the system, you could then trigger uh, some different trainings for them. Uh, maybe an onboarding program or a certified program for like like this one uh, or you could you could invite here also individual or you can upload by excel if you have like 50 of your uh, of your entrepreneurs that you want to to go a new course in how how payments are handled at at your company you could easily do that as well and so you don't have to to, because that you could you couldn't do them with your uh, API uh, integration. Uh, so here we handle the participants, and uh, I mentioned before the communications, and then for automated communications, uh, we we have here a possibility to then uh, set up different rules in what we, what we want to achieve with the communication in the system. So we can see here, and this is in alphabetic order. So uh, we have a reminder to log, because first when you activate, you get a course invitation. Uh, then we want to remind the participant to log in after, for example, three days, as I did here, and uh, halfway through the training, we want uh, to send an email to say, well done, well done you, you're halfway through, keep going. And after the, the course is ended, we want to send an email with thanks for your participation. And it could be some, some extra information about the reward or, or anything. So this is something we help our clients with to set up so that it will be easy to communicate with participants. It could also be like if you have an event at your at your company and you say that that this will uh, you have a, a team that will manage this and then you can also communicate communicate with the team group. So I just talk and talk. Let's see. Uh, we will go into this handbook because 
Uh, Marcus, he has shown us about the video editor and also how to add different content. And this is something that we help you with in, of course, in your onboarding, but also then later on in your in your process, then it more becomes not on how do we, who, how do I do this, but more like what is most effective in this scenario? What do we want to achieve? Do we want to have a quiz or do we want to have a survey? Do we want to make this as an assignment or do we want to, to have an, an, a video about this? And uh, then uh, to also then as a administrator, we want to make your work as, as well as easy as possible and also as personalized as possible because you want your company brand to shine through uh, not just in the branding in the platform, but also here in the library, you see the possibility to create email templates. And uh, you, uh, I did one yesterday. Let's see which one I did. Not that one. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I think it could be this then. No, it, it's not. Then third, third time. Yes, here we have an email template that I just really easily did. They, uh, the system comes with some already made templates, both for email templates and the course templates. And you can then easily make a copy, you see, to new. And then uh, this is a course invitation for my demo. And I have the subject, welcome to. And I'm a bit lazy, so I don't want to, to, to learn all the variables to do this stuff from, from the top. So uh, instead, I, I do the copy and then this will help me. And I added the Learnifier logo type here. And uh, I have the same uh, text here as before. So this is something also we help you with in onboarding. And uh, we have also here a knowledge base that our clients uh, and the administrators has the possibility to use to see how to easy handle the system and the functionality. Uh, and in the, in the project that I'm using, uh, another way to make it easy, engaging and efficient is to, for the learner to get to know the structure that the trainings are made in. And that could, for example, be that we want to have the same introduction and the same outro uh, in all our trainings, where we have some, some informations that we want to, uh, to uh, share to all our learners. It could be, for example, you know, the, uh, how we want to have feedback on our work. Uh, and here in activities, I could then say that I want to, let's see, I want to add a reusable activity from our library. And this is uh, something that is kind of new. It's about one year old and it's available in our price plan professional and, uh, and enterprise. And here you could make the activities and you could then have uh, activities that you can use in every uh, every of your training. If you don't want to, to use a course template, uh, but in, if you want to instead then have, like for this one, the, the intro here, I want to add this. And you can see here, this is the, the activity then. So I look at this introduction, welcome to the course. And this will look the same way then for in every one. So I put that on top and I will publish this one. Uh, and I also here, I want to have an outro. So I want to have the, the ending uh, the same as it usually is. And I will then use this outro here. And uh, 
sorry, we it, it's a whole new module instead. So I have then a reusable module that I want to add to this, uh, this training. So add and close. And then you can see here, this is the, the reusable module. Thanks for your uh, participation. And here we have the outro and uh, we have some text that we always want to, uh, to have at the end of the training. And then we have a survey. How can we help you to develop your uh, skills where we have a few questions about the training. Uh, so I think that's about it from me. So back to you, Rika. Thank you. Thank you, Rika. And uh, thank you, Marcus. Um, this leaves us with, we have five minutes for a um, short q and I uh, don't know if we have any questions in the chat. Do we, Theo, perhaps? Um, no, know. there were no questions in the chat today. Okay. Um, Either we were we... super clear or we were <laughs> super unclear. So you can all you can all start thinking about that and maybe something will come up uh, afterwards. Like, what the heck did they mention? Or like, well, that could actually be useful for us. So, uh, so take that into consideration. But if you got a question, you can still pop it in the uh, in the chat and we can moderate it from from there. So if it's anybody that has anything, feel free. Yeah, or you can just get in touch afterwards as well, of course. Uh, and I just want to say as well that sometimes it's nice with inspiration, right? And on how others work with us. And uh, for the Swedish speakers in the room, on December 6, we have a live um, webinar with our uh, customer Love Bais, the coffee roastery. I don't know if you say that in English, but the, the coffee company. And uh, they will talk about how they do um, work with the learning. So if you need more inspiration on how this could work for you, I would really suggest you sign up and you will get a link to that in the follow-up email together with a um, the recording of this uh, live demo. Um, yeah, okay. Maybe we shouldn't sit here and wait for questions. I think that's just uh, <laughs> ridiculous. So maybe we could just, um, you know, finish this three minutes early and uh, send you off with... Um, with the nice words of uh, may the learning be with you that we usually say here at Learning Fire and uh, wish you a great day and please get in touch should you have more questions or if you want us to um, have a one-on-one -on -one demo with you. Thank you so much for today, everyone. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Mm -mm. Bye. Bye. Bye.